Karina? It's been a while since we've got to see you in action. So, you know, just what have you been up to in the time since then? You know, obviously we've all been going through craziness in the world, but uh, how have you kept busy? Yeah, uh, well, I, I'm always training. Um, I'm always uh, doing stuff to maintain my physical activity. Uh, of course, I take a rest of the MMA training, but I'm always doing something to to keep my to maintain my my physicality and my endurance and all that stuff. And also, uh, I have time to do other things that I never used to do, like uh, another activity. You know, everybody w- was doing. T- things like cooking or <laughs> yeah um i don't know we we tried to find another other other uh, hobbies and i know i also have the opportunity to start studying again okay. i start um study sports science because i'm already involved in sports right i love sports i love the nutrition i love the training i love the strength and conditioning training so i'm I started studying sports science. Okay, that's awesome. Were you have you studied that before, or was this something you're starting brand new? No, I started brand new. Um, okay. This is my first year, and um, on August I finished my first year, my first year of the career. Oh, that's exciting! Congratulations. I'm sure that feels good to know that you know Thank a you full year, right? <laughs> it probably feels really good. Yes, it feels great. But you know, in quarantine, you can do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the world is a possibility. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, no doubt. You have to maintain your your mind busy because we were so isolated, mm-hmm. and that we have to to put our minds to work and. I think that's a good a good thing about the pandemic because we have to see the positive side in, on everything and I I I think that um put time in other aspects of of our lives was something positive. Oh yeah, no. I totally agree with that. It's uh it's I think the pandemic has helped with you know, kind of forcing people to do that a little bit, right? Find the positives maybe when they wouldn't. But uh, how how are things over there right now for you? Is it mostly open again or is it, how is it? The what? How is like the pandemic life over there? Are things mostly open up again? Like, is Um, it pretty good over there right now? Yes, it's it's pretty good to to be able to come back to train, to the gym, to see... uh, our another our to see my teammates and to have a a more normal life right. again. Uh, but we uh, well, I still I didn't get out too much mm-hmm. uh, like on sh- social meetings or something like that. I just uh, go to my house from my house to the gym uh, or to the grocery store um, and very few times to a restaurant just maybe for a pickup delivery or something right. like that but uh i'm still doing the quarantine protocol <laughs> so i think we all should do that because this is this isn't over right um but that's my and it's my the, you know this is not not much it's not different from my from how my life was used to be yeah, before yeah. pandemic, and I think most of the fighters would would say the same because uh, this is kind of the style of life that we all have on our daily basis. <laughs> so it, I I didn't I didn't feel that the the isolation too much because mm-hmm. I think we were used to live like that. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. That dedication and focus, it already went to just the one yeah. spot anyway. <laughs> so. Maybe the, the, the social meetings uh, or the family, family meetings are the, the things that I miss the most, yeah. but that's it. Okay. Okay. And are you going to have a quarantine period for, you know, obviously going to the States and then coming back? Are they going to make you quarantine for a certain period? 
um, here in Mexico. Yeah. Um, maybe I, I think I should do that um, for my family and friends because uh, we have to take care of them. And because I am the one that is traveling, I have right. to I have to do my two weeks quarantine mm -hmm. before I I see them again, I think. Yeah, of course, always better to stay safe. And uh, since I've had the virus, it, it's not very fun. So I would recommend not having it. You know? <laughs> I already have the virus too, uh, nothing fun. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, something we definitely want to avoid and hopefully it's completely gone soon. But anyway, Karina, uh, you know, Invicta is back and you're getting to be a part of it, of course, which is amazing. And coming back in a big way with this new deal on a new tv network all that fun stuff i mean it's like a new era for invicta right starting fresh a little bit just what are what are your thoughts on this kind of new beginning for them it's a pretty big deal yeah i think it's uh, pretty exciting to be part of this of this new era of invicta and so it's amazing that they put me on the main card and the main event to be a uh, part of this a historical event from them for them so i think invicta is growing a lot and it's a, the biggest platform for female fighters and i i i know that this is going to be something pretty big for them and for us uh, because more more people are are going to be able to see our fights and to 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 know us so i'm pretty excited about this i know this is going to be a, a great a great one absolutely and i imagine that's pretty good motivation added onto it for you right of course yes i'm pretty happy i i i was waiting for my came back, my comeback to the cage and this is the best way it could be i can uh, i wasn't expecting something so big yeah that's <laughs> definitely you can't yeah. beat a title shot coming back and you know after the last fight that you had which was also supposed to be for the title shot and uh you know with that in mind was it surprising you know that you got this opportunity when they when shannon came to you were you like okay awesome yeah i'll take that <laughs> yes of course i take that i, I didn't <laughs> think much uh but i i wasn't surprised about the the opportunity of fighting again for the title because i knew this is going to came to me uh, sooner or later and uh, maybe this is this is very very sooner yeah. <laughs> i thought uh maybe i'm i was going to fight an, one fight before another title shot but uh, the things uh, put in front of me that way i have to take the opportunities that they gave me and i know I know I deserve this. I know I, I been fighting for this. So this is something I've been working for all my life. So I also know that I deserve this opportunity and, and in big time Shannon think the same way. So I'm pretty happy. Yes, they definitely do. I mean, that's, that's why we're here, right? So <laughs> it's great to see. And, uh, you know, going back to that last fight, though, against Vanessa Porto, I mean, obviously one of the best flyweights ever, right? A, a total veteran, has plenty of experience. Um, you know, it's when you look back on that one, having had time, you know, just digest it a little bit, right? Um, what, what are kind of your biggest takeaways from the fight with her? Uh, I really enjoyed that fight. I, I know that Vanessa Porto is a very experienced fighter, a very strong fighter, a technical fighter. So I have a, a game opponent in front of me, a very a great a big challenge in front of me. I was very excited to to fight against her, and um, I was very after the the fight. I was very very happy with how I can solve all the problems that she put in front of me. Um, um, I also, I, I wish I could fight for five rounds. I know maybe the, the result could be different from, from what, what it was. We never, we, we would never know, but I, I would love to fight 
five rounds with, with her. Um, but I learned a lot about me, about myself, about how I can deal with this big uh, challenge. And I, I also know that I'm ready for everything and that I am the level of the top of, of top fighters. I'm, I am the highest level of the division and Invicta. So that's why I, I have that opportunity to fight for the belt. So it just, uh, that fight was a reminder of how good I am. Yeah, there you go. And I mean, you get five rounds this time again and taking on Diana Torcado this time. Uh, I mean, were you familiar with her much before, you know, you got the matchup and uh, just what do you think about her as your opponent here? Uh, I wasn't very familiar with with her fights because uh, I she just have uh, I didn't saw her fight on an in Invicta. I just saw when she fights on the Invicta series, mm -hmm. the Phoenix series, and when she fought against Dudieva and then Bennett. Um, I know she's a very aggressive opponent. I know she's she likes to to go after after the fight and she is um she's a strong and an aggressive fighter is is what i know i know she wants the belt uh just like me i know she's going to to bring everything to to the table to to win this belt so i'm ready for whatever she whatever she has for sure. And I mean, do you kind of like those more aggressive fighters? Because I feel like they're, they kind of fit your style a little bit where you can counter them when, and play the matador a little bit, the bull and the matador. Is that kind of a style you like to go against the ones that really get in, you know, bring the pressure on you? Yes. I like that. Those aggressive fighters because I think the fight becomes more interesting and exciting for yeah. the people, for the fans. And I, the, the, that really fit me that, that's making me, that makes me a, a better fighter every round. Every round I start growing up and growing up because I I don't know I I start feeling the emotion. The um, I also like the the fights that are a lot of change, a lot of striking. Mm -hmm. um, I I started when that when when that happened I started enjoying more the fight because I don't like the kind of fighter that just hug you and keep you there and do nothing that <laughs> oh, my words kind of fight my words kind of, I, I hate those those types of those those type of fight I I really don't like that and I thought and I think the, the fans didn't like don't like that too so um uh, this is going to be a great a great fight because she's She's going to bring everything she have. I'm going to bring everything I have. And um, I'm going to do everything that is in my power to, to end with my hand raised that night. Well, you mentioned the fans there, Karina. And, you know, we're not going to have them at the fight, right? There's not going to be any there. So <laughs> how do you feel about that? Is it a bummer <laughs> for you? I know. It's the first time I'm going to fight without, without people. But... Um, it's okay. I when I when I mention the fans, I also I, I am also thinking about the fans and in their homes, about the people that I that is watching you, that is sending me messages of support, that I that is uh, always um, like that 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 like the, the the person that I are supporting my career. And that is what, and all the fans that are watching the fights on the on their homes, I that's the kind of, of energy that I also that I like to feel too. I know they're no they they are not physically present, right? But I feel I feel feel it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we'll have more eyes this yeah. time. So there you go. And I yeah. imagine that uh, have you asked like. Irene and Alexa, what it's like fighting without crowds, and they're giving you some tips and what to expect a little bit. <laughs> uh, well, I think they uh, they like oh, they like the fans, but I think that a fight with without fans also makes them more relaxed 
mm-hmm. and they are more they they can focus more on the on the fighter that they have in front and not thinking in what the people is cheering or booing or whatever and that's a, a good point for a focus on, on what you're doing so uh, i saw them on more relaxed mm-hmm. yeah and i know that a lot of fighters have really liked the fact that they can hear their corners a lot better you know because it's not so noisy so i mean there's we a hear our court i think we we can hear our corners the other corner yeah yeah everybody the, com- <laughs> the commentator i don't know how to say commentator. yeah 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 perfect so we can hear everything <laughs> yeah it's uh, definitely a unique element but uh still getting a fight and there will be people watching somewhere in the world so that's the exciting part right so looking forward to it and did you watch much mma like just in general like as a fan because i know there are some fighters who they just like to be a fighter like don't really watch too much just go and do their thing do you like to watch fights too or is it just i'll stick to myself and do it (laughs) no i'm a big fan i'm a big fan i love to watch uh ufc fights Mm -hmm. and invicta fights and some other um other uh, leagues mm-hmm. this is yeah yeah is the name the, where maybe some teammate is fighting so i'm also watching fights uh, i love to i am i'm a huge fan also okay very cool and so i imagine then you saw your teammate elizabeth rodriguez is when what was this past weekend did you get to see that and what are your thoughts on you know her her potential in the sport you know very good prospect still starting out in your division yes i'm very happy for her because she makes a perfect fight she uh, performed beautiful uh, her striking was on point her her movement uh, her footwork her hands up covering the strikes the, the kicks everything was perfect and i know she's my teammate but i i really love to see her uh, fight and to see her winning i think she makes uh, a beautiful performance and she's a, a very good fighter i hope she she grows up in, in the division and she's also fighting for a in she's in on a grand prix for a belt on that on that league yeah, there we go. So right I there. hope she, she finish winning that though. Yeah, it'll be awesome to watch, you know, what's next for her and how she continues to grow yeah. in the sport. Always great. And, you know, Karina, I think that for fighters like her, it's safe to say that, you know, you're kind of in a role model position, right? Like people look up to you having been there, kind of done that, fought the career that you've fought. Do you ever think about that? And like, is, is it important for you to be a good role model for maybe teammates or just you know, people in general, like young girls who maybe need some inspirations. Is that something you think about? Yes, I think that many people that are starting this sport are watching us are, and want to follow our steps. And sometimes they write us or they or if we've met them on a gym or something, they ask us questions about how we started. Uh, how we train, how we eat, how we take care of our health, and how we don't get nervous on a fight, and all that questions. And it's very cool to be able to share with them our experience and to motivate them to that if they really want to follow the this career, uh, to to really share with them some advices of how make it in the in the better way. Um, I I'm also want to to be a, a role model of a real, uh, real martial artist um, that respect the fighters, respect the fight, and and that uh, see the, see this like a sport, an honorable sport, and not like a just like a show, you know. Yeah. Um, I know it's part of our job to be to make a show for the fans, but also to teach them that this is a sport and that we respect them and they have to respect them as we do. I think that's very beautifully put and, you know, uh, great words there. <laughs> I like what you're putting Thank down. You. And uh, 
you know, I, everybody from Lobo Gym, all your teammates, yourself included, of course, you know, representing your country very proudly is like some of the best fighters, if not the very best from Mexico. So, you know, do you think about that too, being strong representatives for your country and, you know, as Mexican MMA continues to grow as time goes on? Yes. Uh, yes, I know we have a big responsibility because we are on, uh, on from Lobo Gym, we are on the big, on the biggest platforms of MMA right now. Uh, I'm very proud of what my team um, of Lobo Gym and also Brazilian Warriors, because we are like two teams in one. Mm -hmm. um, what we have made to be on this point, uh, everybody works really hard. Uh, the coaches, the teammates, everybody's helping each other to to reach their goals and I know we are growing we are growing up as a team and we are reaching our goals as a, as a team and I'm very happy to to be in this uh, in this group of, of persons and I know that uh, Mexico um, it's going to be great from Mexico from fans from Mexico that we that I can be able to get this belt from them. Yeah, it's awesome to see what all you guys have been doing down there. Always, I mean, you're all very fun fighters to watch just naturally. So that makes it even cooler, you know, watch you guys go out and fight. So I, I want to look back a little bit now, Karina, to when you actually started in MMA, you know, the early days for you on the Mexico regional scene and extreme combat, you know, going back there. Uh, just when you look back on that time in your career, in your life, like, what do you remember most from those early days starting out in MMA? Um, well, I remember that I, I was uh, never expecting to get to this point. I, I remember that I just want to live the experience of be a fighter. I like, I want to feel what it feels to yeah. be a fighter, what it feels to be on that cage and to give punches and receive some punches and... <laughs> You, you know, just live the experience, like, right? Okay? And then bye, maybe. No, I just want to buy. I'm always. I was. I was always saying, just one time, just one more time. And then they offer me another fight. Ah, one more time. With my mom and my family will say, "Are you going to continue with this? Just one more time." <laughs> <laughs> and that one more time, it never ends. You yeah. Know? I'm, I'm, I'm always say it's just one. I, with this, I say, it's one more time, mom, just one more time. I just want my belt. Back. <laughs> but I know it's not my last time, but, and she knows that, but I say that for, for them to be relaxed because mm -hmm. obviously she doesn't want me to fight anymore because she's worried about me, but, um, well, that, that is what I remember. I truly, I see that, this game these fights like a game like i just want to feel i just want to, like experience right and but i realized that i really enjoyed to be there i really enjoyed the challenge and i want more I, i'm always want more more and more and more and prove that i'm better with better fighters absolutely yeah just that one more mentality that's great you know one more time one, <laughs> yeah, one, more, more, time. one more round one more time yeah I always find one more. <laughs> oh, I also, when some when some fighters take me down or something, I can stand up one more time. Don't right. worry. I can, I can, I can punch you one more time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> a good little reminder to keep it in the back of your head. So, yeah. uh, it's funny though, because also you know during your time in extreme combat, you you fought your now teammate Alexa Grasso, which I always found really interesting. Like, for what what it must have been like going from fighting Alexa than to, you know, being training part partners for more of your career now than not having been training partners. Right. So what was, what was that kind of like, you know? <laughs> um, you know, it was very easy uh, because when, when uh, the fight ends, we were like, eh, that's a good fight. We fought each other. There's no bad feelings. I had, I never had bad feelings with, with my opponents. I, at, at least from my, right. From this side, <laughs> I I had never had some issues with any of any of the fighters I, I fight against. So 
with Alexa wasn't the, the exception. Uh, we were colleagues and before, before being teammates, we were colleagues. We work, we work in the same business. We want the same, we want to fight. And we also, we love to fight to each other because that make us grow a lot. That was my second fight, my second professional fight. I didn't have a mature career. So it was very, um, uh, in Mexico, there wasn't a lot of fight, uh, female fight, fighters. So we kind of uh, prove each other that we like that. And then um, I have the opportunity to train with them. They invite me to, the t- to join the team. And it was very easy, like, eh, we are teammates now. We're, let's let's train together let's um, learn from each other let's help each other and it was a very easy transition you know yeah i mean it's just a it's a very interesting dynamic to see though right when teammates maybe become teammates after fighting it's a cool thing and especially when you know you're at a gym like lobo gym and you fought her then and now you you get to fight in the gym all the time. So it's like, it is what it is, right? So, <laughs> good fun there, but it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Karina, I will leave you with one last thing here. Um, it's been great getting yeah. to chat with you. Uh, you know, just going forward for 2021, obviously got this big, exciting title fight coming up here on the first show and Invicta that is back. Um, but like, how are you looking to stay pretty active this year in, I mean, you just said one more, just one more. So maybe you don't think too far ahead, but are you a little bit? Are you hoping to be getting multiple fights in, in this year? I know I'm going to fight a lot, a lot this year. I know Invicta has good plans with, I know they want to make a lot of events more than they used to do in the past. And I hope they, that I can be in, in, in many of them. I, I know I will say one more, but I know I'm going to fight a lot. And I'm going to fight this year the times they ask me to fight. Uh, the, if I'm healthy, if I'm ready, I'm, I'm, wanna, I'm gonna be ready all the time. I just want to, to be healthy and to be ready for every, for every, every time they call me. So yes, I think, I think we're gonna be busy this year. All right, cool. That'll be great to see, you know, whether it's just one more or not, or one more plus one more plus one more plus one more. You know, we'll see as long as it goes. <laughs> until until I, I didn't enjoy it anymore because that's that's what is more important for me. I really enjoy the fight. I really enjoy everything. And when I stop enjoying this, maybe that's the moment that I say thank you very much. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, we'll see you next time.